Uh, let us see a very interesting example for uh, bigram models. Uh, in this example, uh, suppose uh, we have a given text. This is a training text, or you can say a corpus, a very little corpus. Uh, this is a text is written by some uh, author, say X Y Z, and uh, so we train our application by using this text. And next, we get a sentence suppose we get this sentence and we want to find the probability that that this sentence is also written by the same author xyz so it's very interesting application and uh, uh, you can use this uh, concept uh, on different uh, uh, scenarios like suppose you have a book uh, a book that very old book and you do not know the exact name of that book, the author of that book so uh, by using this concept of bigram models you can speculate about the author of the book so uh, let's start doing it so by applying the uh, bigram model that we derived in the previous lecture uh, we can say that probability of the sentence i i am not will be equal to the probability of i given s that's the start of the sentence probability of i given i probability of m given i probably of not given m so by using the bigram model we will uh, get the probability of the sentence so probability of i given s means the count of s i divided by the count of total s so there are total s i 3 and simply there are 3 total s so 3 over 3 and here it means probability of i given i means the count of i i divided by the count of total i so i i occurs just one time and total i occurs one two three four times so it will be one over four and similarly probability of m given i means the count of i m divided by the total i's i m occurred two times and simply i occurred four times so again it is it would be 2 over 4 and here probably of not given m means the count of m not divided by total count of m m not occurred uh, one time and total count of count of m is 2 so it is 1 over 2 so it is 1 it is 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.5 and the result is 0 0.0625 so this is a probability that this auth sentence is also written by the same author so as we see that in the bigram model we are actually multiplying uh, the conditional probabilities and because the probabilities are less than one so the result is usually very small so uh, to represent the results we use the concept of perplexity that we will uh, discover in the next lecture thank you bye bye